take a look at this. This is snow. This actually fell, and it fell here. Uh, this is here at the station, and uh, we had these snow showers overnight. They're not nearly as impressive anymore, but we will still see a couple of flakes of snow. Look at that. Look at that snow that's falling. Bob, you're really impressed, aren't you? Yeah. Now, the good news is, is that although the air is cold enough for snow, the ground is still pretty warm, so the streets are mainly just wet. This is not going to be a problem for slick roads or major traveling issues this morning. You'll see a couple of flurries this morning. That's really about it. It's diminishing now as we speak. It's not going to be here for very long. Rest of the day will start to clear out at least some in some small pockets so that you can see a little bit of sunshine. But that sun is still not going to warm us up much. We're in the 30s now. We'll end up at only 42 later this afternoon. And we've really been talking about building up the fact that next week, it's going to get really cold and it's still on track. So here's a look at the country the, and for the high temperatures today. We have a cooler pocket of air here along the Midwest and the Great Lakes and we still have that today. So highs will be in the 40s today and they're still going to be in the 40s tomorrow. We see some cooler temperatures to our north uh, and this is relatively standard to see a cool pocket of air. But I want to show you what we're expecting next week and this, these are the high temperatures for Tuesday of next week. High temperatures in the 30s for us, the 20s for the Dakotas and the teens up in Montana. This cold air mass is going to be major. It's going to affect a huge part of the country. It's going to include some lake effect snow showers for us. This is really unseasonable for us. Usually this is more like a, a January or even February type air mass and it's going to be here next week. So that's what we're really going to be gearing up for over the next couple of days. As far as that snow is concerned, this is WSBT 22 storm tracker and you can see those snow showers have diminished even in the last oh, about two hours. Right now over Elkhart County, we've had a couple of the flurries but they're barely even showing up at this point. The winds are dying down and the winds really help generate a lot of these snow showers. So since the winds are dying down and they're changing direction, it's just not going to sustain that moisture for very long. If we look at this, plan it out hour by hour, seven o'clock to about lunchtime, you can see a couple of blips on there of green indicating a few sprinkles, but mostly it's just clouds. Then once we get to the afternoon, we'll see more of that clearing and we'll see a lot of clearing between middle of the afternoon and the early evening hours. This clearing only lasts for maybe a couple of hours because our next storm system will be here by the time you wake up on Saturday. Five o'clock Saturday morning, the rain showers roll in and we'll see rain showers for a good portion of Saturday's forecast. So here's a look at the forecast the rest of today. Just the sprinkles and a couple of flurries left this morning and then the rest of the day will be a mix of the sun and clouds. But 42 for the high today. That's really all we get tomorrow as well. It will be very soggy in the morning hours. The two driest days I have for you are Sunday and Monday. They're not perfect here, but they are in the mid 40s to about 50 degrees. And then that blast of cold air that I was talking about, it moves in Wednesday or Monday night and Tuesday and then sits through Wednesday and Thursday. Lake effect snow showers are expected at least on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And that cold air has some high temperatures barely even reaching 32. I think in some cases we're being conservative on the warm side and, and some of those forecasts. We'll have to watch that develop. You know, we're, and it's not just us. I mean, it's going to be yeah. pretty far south. It's going to be places that don't usually get this cold of air this early in the season. All right. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Thanks very much. Well, of course, you may be not used to seeing these 30 degree temperatures quite this early in November, but we won't be the only ones digging out our scarves and our hats. Yeah, much of the U.S. will be feeling the chill next week, and we actually have a typhoon to blame for that. Carrie, can you <laughs> yeah. explain? Yeah, all this cold air is because of a storm, and the remnants of a Pacific super typhoon, Nuri, will create a big buckle in the jet stream. And in a few days, of course, that's going to mean a big dip in the jet stream right over us, which will connect us with a big mass of wow. Arctic air, taking the temperatures east of the Rockies down 10 to 30 degrees below average. The cold air is expected to last for several days over much of the U.S., which I showed you that. But, you know, this is going to spark a lot of, of more winter-type activities in November. Lucky us. Yeah. You know, the video from that storm is just amazing. Oh, yeah, just from the storm itself? Yeah, from yeah. space. Take a, you know, Google it and take a look at the storm. I mean, you know, it's a major, major storm. We don't yeah. have the effects of that. We just get pushed the cold air. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All, All right. right. Thank you. Thanks, Carrie.